Oh, welcome racing fans. Uh, to, uh, welcome back to all our uh, return listeners and welcome to all our new listeners to the Motorsports Radio Podcast Network as we wave the green flag for the 2017 season. Uh, uh, 39 weeks of fun, fun, fun. Uh, hello everybody, this is Manny Allegretta and this is Motorsports Radio's Weekend Edition slash Season Kickoff. We always start the season off on a Wednesday because Thursday night tomorrow we have some racing to watch. Uh, and then next week we're back to our Monday, Thursday regimen. Monday, the first round of race recaps with the Motorsports Radio Breakdown starting at 725. We have three uh, breakdowns on tap. Uh, so, uh, I'll let you know about that. Uh, so... We have uh, MR1 for the uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races, and the formerly known as the Sprint Cup Series. MR2 for Xfinity Series and Camping World Trucks on MR3. MR5, we're going to do the weekend edition and full results. We're on MR1 today, uh, but same setup as we did yesterday. And uh, we got some good listeners last, yes, last year. Uh, as fo- folks that know, we started last year with what was the racing podcast. And we had to do some emergency format change, and that uh, and that's what uh, evolved into uh, the Motorsports Radio Podcast Network. Anyone check out the new NASCAR logo? Uh, they switched it up a little bit last weekend, uh, a little bit. Now, last weekend was the Clash, uh, and the, which is the new name for what used to be the uh, the Unlimited, uh, which was won by Joe Logano, uh, which was a good race last weekend. Uh, all part of the Speed Weeks and the week long event, uh, two weeks long event uh, leading up to this upcoming weekend as we now get closer and closer to Daytona Day and the great American race, the Daytona 500. But first, there is the Can-Am Dual Races 1 and 2 scheduled for this Thursday. Then on Friday, the first truck uh, series race of the year. Then uh, Saturday, uh, Xfinity Series starts its action. And then on Sunday, the Cup Series. And we'll have the schedule for you uh, uh, at the end of this program. Uh, For the month of February, Daytona for all three uh, series. March, uh, uh, the Cup Series heads to Atlanta, Vegas, Phoenix, and Auto Club Speedway. The same for Xfinity Series. Uh, the Cable World Truck Series is Daytona, Atlanta, and then the trucks take a few weeks off, and uh, they will head to Martinsville on April 1st. Uh, so I think we're going to be in for a treat this year. I'm feeling uh, really good about the 2017 season, and here at Motorsports Radio Podcast Network, we will keep you up to date for the next 39 weeks. Uh, well, 36 races all together for the Cup Series, a little less than now. I got, a, I got my uh, schedule right here. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep everybody up to date. So we're going to start, as we always do, with the driver standings. And then we'll get into this new format that everybody's talking about. And I think it's going to be kind of fun. We're going to see how it all unfolds this weekend. Uh, but let's take a look at the driver standing. This is from last year, uh, just to have a little fun uh, looking at the top ten. Uh, of course, Jimmy Johnson, the 2016 uh, Sprint Cup Series champion, although now we've got to call it the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, Jimmy Johnson in first place with 5,040 points. Joey Logano, who almost won it, uh, finishes in second this last year. Uh, Kyle Busch in third place. Carl, cousin Carl Edwards, fourth, who's taking the 2017 off, uh, driving the 19, will be Daniel Suarez. Matt Kenseth. Uh, is in fifth place in the standing. Sixth, it's Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch seventh, Kevin Harvick ninth, Kyle Larson, uh, Kevin Harvick eighth, Kyle Larson ninth, and tenth, it's Chase Elliott. Uh, 11th through 15th, we have Truex Jr., Brad Keselowski, uh, Jay McMurray, Austin Dillon, Tony Stewart. 16th through 20, Chris Boucher, Casey Kane, Ryan Newman, AJ Almendinger, Ryan Blaney. And then 21st to 25th, it's Stenhouse Jr., Trevor Bain, Greg Biffle, Danica Patrick, and Paul Menard. Toyota sits in first place in the manufacturer's Standing. Take a look at the top 10 for the Xfinity Series. Daniel Suarez in first place, uh, 2016 uh, Xfinity Series champion. Elliot Sadler in second, Justin Allgaier in third, Eric Jones fourth, uh, Ty Dillon fifth, sixth, it's Ryan Reed, Blake Koch comes in seventh, eighth, it's Brandon Poole, Ryan Siege in ninth, and tenth, it's Brandon Jones. Uh, Toyota also in the first place in Xfinity Series. Uh, pretty much Toyota, Chevy, Ford, first, second, and third for all three series. Uh, the only difference is in the Xfinity series, we got Dodge in fourth, and in the trucks, it's Ram in fourth. Uh, taking a look now, uh, let's see, from 11th through 15th, uh, it's uh, in order. Darrell Wallace Jr., Brennan Gowen, uh, Dakota Armstrong, J.J. Ellie, Jeremy Clements, and then 16th through 20th, Ross Chastain, Ryan Priest, Garrett Smithley, 
Ray Black Jr., BJ McLeod, 21st to 25th, Joey Gates, David Starr, Justin Marks, Jeb Burton, and Alex Bowman. Uh, for the Camping World Truck Series, uh, Johnny Sutter, driver of the 21 truck, is the 2016 Camping World Truck Series champion. First place in the standings. Uh, with 4,030 points. Second place, Matt Crafton. Christopher Bell uh, comes in in third. Fourth, it's Timothy Peters. William Byron in fifth. Daniel Heimrick in sixth. Seventh is Brent Kennedy. John Hunter Nemechek in eighth, uh, driver of the number eight. Uh, Tyler Reddick in ninth. And Cole Custer, driver of the double zero, in tenth. Uh, 11th through 15th in order, it's Cameron Haley, Spencer Gallagher, Rico O'Brien, Luke Ben Rhodes, Austin Wayne Self. 16 through 20, Travis Vopolo, John West Townley, Ryan R Truex, uh, Tyler Young, and Jordan Anderson. 21st to 25th, Matt Tift, Grant Infinger, Tommy Joe Martins, Parker Kilgerman, and Brandon Brown rounds up the top 25. And uh, so that is that. Taking a look at the top 10 for IndyCar and Formula One. IndyCar starts in a couple of weeks on uh, March 12th. Uh, we'll get to that, and uh, I think March 26th is uh, the season opener for Formula One. But top 10 IndyCar, uh, first place, Salmon Pigeonot, uh, and then uh, second place, Grand Rio, uh, Juan Pablo Montoya, third place, fourth uh, is Ryan Hunter Ray, Alexander Rossi, fifth, Joseph Newgarten, sixth, Helio Castaneda, seventh, eighth is Marco Andretti, uh, Charlie Kimball, and ninth, tenth, Sebastian Bourdais. And then we get to Formula One. Nico Rosberg, of course, the Formula One champion, and, and uh, also retired. He, he became the 2016 champion, and he called it quits. Uh, and in uh, second place, his teammate, Lewis Hamilton, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel in fourth, and then fifth through tenth, uh, Max Verstappen, Kimi Raikkonen, Sergio Perez, Vitaly Bottas, Nico Hulkenberg, and Fernando Alonso. Uh, and I believe it's Vitaly Bottas that might be taking over, I believe it's, if I'm... My mistake is going to be taking over Nico Rosberg in 2017. All right, so the new format. And at first, you know, uh, you know, during the off season, uh, Motorsports Radio, we're on it getting stuff, and uh, we usually take a little break uh, after the, uh, the last race, and you know, and then once the new year starts, we bang get it going to get information. And one of the Big new stories, besides Carl Edwards dropping a ball saying that he's not coming back, is this one right here. January 22nd, NASCAR announced changes to racing as we know it. All races will now be divided into three stages. Although I think they're calling them segments. Uh, this applies to all three NASCAR series. So, very similar if you did see the, uh, the clash last weekend. Same setup, except there's going to be a third segment. Uh, and we'll get into that in a little... So... Uh, drivers who finished segments one and two will be awarded points ranging from 10 points down to one. So first place would get 10 points, second place knocked all the way down. And then the third segment will be the battle for the checkered flag. The third segment, drivers will be racing uh, for the race win, and there will be points in uh, third as well. Uh, race winner will get uh, will receive 40 points, and then from second through 35th places, they will... Uh, be scored on the 35 to 2 point scale, and then 36 through 40th, they will all receive one point. Now, some folks might be thinking to themselves, huh? But, um, so, uh, which, uh, it gives ch dr uh, drivers, because, you know, you get to, let's say, uh, lap 40, you got a guy that's in the lead, uh, then all of a sudden something happens, and then all of a sudden you got a new guy in the lead, so that kind of, that's on the old point system, uh, your points drop at the lower you are on the scale when it comes to the end of the race. So now, if you got a guy that's in the lead and it's coming to, let's say, lap 60 and they put the flag out to mark the end of the segment, now that guy's the first place, he gets 10 points. So there you go. Of course, and it's going to be a little exciting. Um, and so we're going to get into it. And of course, we'll keep you updated here at Motorsports Radio. Uh, now, the first uh, first off, the race lengths will not be changed, and the break between the segments would allow time for commercial breaks and uh, would minimize commercials during green flag racing, source, or Associated Press, uh, which was a big complaint from a lot of fans because you miss a lot of you know, uh, you miss a lot of action when they go to the commercial breaks. Uh, unlike other sports where the play stops in racing, it don't stop unless the checkered flag is out or a red flag comes out. Action still keeps going. Formula One and IndyCar, they do the side-by-side. -side. NASCAR does the NASCAR nonstop. They show the race and the while well, the commercials are going, but NASCAR only did it for the second half of the race. IndyCar Formula One, they do it for 
throughout the whole race, so you do miss a little a bit, some action when they go to commercials. Uh, now, segment winners will be interviewed, and there will be no bonus points for leading laps or the most laps led, which is a big change right there. Uh, now, the number of laps in segments one and two will be the same, and with the end of segment one being the race halfway mark. So, uh, this upcoming Daytona 500, which is 200 advertised laps, segments one and two will be 60 laps each, and then that will bring us to 120, and then the last uh, segment, segment three, will be 80 laps, and that will get us to the 200. Uh, drivers will earn bo bonus points that will be called playoff points uh, that drivers will carry through to playoffs, which uh, they, they dropped the name, the chase, uh, everybody heard that already, so they're not using the term chase no more, but drivers will earn five playoff points for race wins and will receive one playoff point for segment wins. Uh, now, even though they're not using the word chase, the playoff format is unchanged uh, for the most part, so the, the format that we're used to around 16, 12, 8, and 4 is still the same. All right. <laughs> Fun, ladies and gentlemen, fun. Now, uh, playoff points will be accumulated throughout the season. Uh, now, the segment breaks will be approximately 10 minutes, according to motorsports.com. Uh, Steve O'Donnell, NASCAR Executive Vice President and Chief, uh, Chief Racing Development Officer, says, quote, uh, these are enhancements that the NASCAR fan has long sought and the entire industry has worked hard to develop a better racing format for our fans. Wow, talk about keeping a tight lid on this. Uh, no leaking or nothing, right? All of a sudden, we're in the middle of Christmas break, and boom, here it is. <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, now, uh, he continues saying that this format puts a premium on every victory and every in-race position over the course of the season. Each point can eventually result in winning or losing a championship. Uh, pit Road closes. Now, Pit Road closes uh, begin at the last five laps of the segment. Uh, so, if Segment one's lap 60, lap 55, pit road is closed. Uh, then then the yellow flag, now, they said the yellow flag's going to fly to end the segments. Uh, now, I heard very recently uh, through WFO, i go to uh, like WFO if you're familiar with, uh, they have a, actually got a new flag that's going to mark the end of the segment. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for that. Uh, and I also heard they're looking for a sponsor for the new flag. So uh, <laughs> that should be very interesting. Indeed, uh, cars will come pit exit the same way. So cars come in the pit and it will exit in the same order that they came out of. Um, now, I'm assuming that there's going to be pit row penalties, which will be an issue of those sort of clash. Uh, Brad Keselowski had a nice lead, came into pit at the end of segment one, uh, and then uh, wound up getting penalized for going through too many pit stalls, which allowed uh, Kyle Busch to actually advance two spots with a race off pit road so the combination of those two scenarios allowed Kyle Busch to be the new race winner uh, Kyle Busch however did wind up getting popped for speeding and entry uh, during one of the other cautions uh, which allowed Denny Hamlin to be, take the lead uh, so as mentioned race winner, winner will receive 5 playoff points and automatically gets into the round of 16 playoff points carry through the round of 16 and there will also be a regular uh, this is a cool one here there will also be a regular season champion. So there's that. And playoff points will be added to uh, the reset total after the 26th regular season uh, race. Uh, also, uh, there will be points given for the Can-Am Duel. This is something they haven't done in a long time. Uh, so this race coming up tomorrow night on Thursday is going to be a big deal, uh, of course, uh, and which sets up the uh, starting positions for the Daytona 500. Uh, of course, the qualifying sets up uh, the two first and second place guys during regular qualifying, although they still race. And then uh, the KDM Duel sets the field up for the rest of the field, uh, which qualify uh, for the starting positions during regular uh, see during the regular uh, Daytona qualifying. Uh, we're gonna we got a little breakdown of the qualifying process. We're gonna get to that next week or the week after. The uh, to clarify for a lot of folks that are new to NASCAR because it can be a little confusing, but the basics of it is pretty simple. Um, the, where your regular qualifying goes three rounds. So you have 40 cars. Top 24 would advance to the round to so the second round of qualifying, and at that the top 12 get into the third round of qualifying, and that top 12 uh, will uh, battle for pole position.